Hi everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since I've sat and filmed a video, probably since before I went to Berlin. So today I've got a couple that I want to film and the first one I'm gonna do is my current everyday makeup looks. I'm just gonna be putting on my face everything that I've been using recently. So literally day in, day out, my favorite makeup products of the moment. So um, it's quite early in the morning. I've not been up that long, so bear with me. I'm gonna just grip my hair back as usual just to get it off my face. So I'm gonna start off with a Too Faced eyeshadow primer and this is the Shadow Insurance. And I'm gonna start off doing my eyes because I find that then if there's any fallout, I'm not ruining my foundation that I've done. I'm just gonna pop this all over my eyelid. It's kind of like a rose golden, purpley, shimmery, smoky eye. Um, and then quite like a, kind of like a medium to full coverage base, I'd say. It's just literally been the products that I've been reaching for and the look that I've been doing with them. So I thought I'd share, share them with you. I'm gonna try and do this like in, as a chatty get ready with me, but honestly, I'm so bad at doing two things at once that that might not happen. So I'm gonna use my little Makeup Geek quad. Um, well, there's nine in it, but it's like a small little um, Z palette. And I'm gonna take, first of all, this shade, which is kind of like a light brown. So this is Frappe by Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna be taking this one first in the crease of my eye. And I'm using a Morphe M513 to do that. When I'm doing my eyes, I tend to kind of look down into a mirror so I can see what it looks like when my eyes are open as well as when they're shut. Um, because I've got quite hooded eyes, when they're open, you can't always see the eyeshadow over the top. I've recently just had my eyebrows done as well, by the way, which is why there's a little bit of redness. Um, I had them waxed and I'm really not good with wax. My skin is so sensitive. Um, it's been a few days now and it's still recovering, but it was worth it. They are so much better now. They were in such dire need of something. I'm just being quite, quite messy with this and then I'm buffing it out with the Morphe M505 which is kind of a stiffer blending brush so it allows me to really get a quite a good blend. So I'm leaving the crease colour there for now and I'm going to take my all over the lid colour and this is this shade here by Makeup Geek and this is Grandstand. It's a beautiful um, kind of goldy bronzy toned eyeshadow. It's so pretty. It's my favourite Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Um, and it's one of their foiled ones. And I just pressed that literally over my entire mobile lid. I've been absolutely loving Makeup Geek eyeshadows recently. Like, I honestly don't use anything else. Um, I don't even reach for my MAC anymore because these just stay on so well and the colours are so unique and so affordable. It's a really simple and quick eye makeup, I think, to do, um, but it looks like you've put in a lot more effort than you have by the end of it because the eyeshadows are so pretty. That's what I think. And I'm gonna take this shade here in the corner, which is a deep purpley, plummy, browny tone, and this is Bitten by Makeup Geek. And I kind of work that into the outer corner and build up a little bit of a shape um, and a little bit of depth to the eye. And this is literally all I do. So I just use these three eyeshadows. And that first one really is just to create a little bit of warmth to the top of the eye and it helps everything blend in together. And I'm taking that same blending brush that I was using before and blending it all together. So I'm kind of like bringing it out a little bit further, literally just because if my eyes are closed and I don't, if my eyes are open and I don't do that, you can't see my eyeshadow because of the shape of my eye. I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover X primer, which is a really nice primer. I find you don't need a lot of it um, and it's very moisturising and hydrating, which I like. And I do think it helps my makeup stay on a little bit longer, so I just kind of dot that all over. I rub it into the skin like you would a moisturiser, but I press it in more than rub if that makes sense like i'm really kind of applying force so that it really sinks into the skin the foundation that i've been using at the moment is a new one for me and this is the makeup forever hd foundation which lots of people love and have raved about and 
I kind of jumping on the bandwagon. It's a stick foundation and I would say it's more of a, I've just stuck my blooming fingernail in it. Um, I'd say it's more of a medium to full coverage than a full, full coverage. Like the Hourglass one seems to be a really thick full coverage, whereas this one is kind of buildable and it gives a really nice dewy natural finish um, I think once it's blended in. I have used this with a brush and I much prefer blending it in with a beauty blender, which is what I'm going to use today. Um, I just kind of swipe it onto my face. This is something completely new for me because I've this is the first stick foundation that I've ever used and I've used it a few times and I really like it. Um, it's so easy just to like literally slap on your face. Um, I kind of just do that. I know that looks like a lot, but once it's blended in, hopefully it won't look as crazy. And then I just use my black beauty blender, which is the one that I got to kind of update from my pink one because they're the same. But um, my pink one is so grubby now. And I literally just push this into the skin. So you should be able to see that instantly the coverage that that gives. Um, it's insane and it's so creamy. I feel like that's almost blended in and it took me two seconds. It's so easy to blend in and I wear the shade um this is 118 or y325 and i actually guessed my shade from going off like what other youtubers wore and swatches on the internet and stuff and i'm really happy with the color match because i think it's quite a good one but that's given me a nice kind of like medium to full coverage and sometimes i might build it up if i felt like i needed more but today i'm going to leave it there and i'm just going to use concealer where i need it because i don't want it to be too heavy Next, as always, I'm going to do my eyebrows just to let the foundation sink into the skin and I'm going to use my Archery Brow Pencil by Soap and Glory because it's still my favourite. I still haven't found anything that I want to use instead of this um, on the daily. So I'm just going to quickly fill these in. I have just had them done and obviously tinted as well as waxed so they don't need, they don't need too much um, TLC. If you are local to me, so around the Blackpool area, um, and you are after someone to do your nails or brows, um, she can pretty much do anything. She's one of my sister's friends. I'll leave her Facebook page in the description box so that you can go and check her out because you all know how much I've struggled to find someone around here since we moved back to do my eyebrows. I just haven't been happy with them in ages and I just left them for so long because I think you kind of like lose faith and I just got so nervous trying anywhere new um, and then my sister started going back to her because she's just had a baby so she's kind of just started um, you know building back up to having like regular clients and stuff and she does it from her home it's she's so lovely her baby's gorgeous her house is lovely and she makes you feel really comfortable and she she asked what I wanted which I thought was so incredibly important like she didn't just go for it um and she knows what she's doing um and at every stage she was like asking me if it was okay if she could do anything different um and it's affordable as well so definitely if you're in the area this is the l'oreal brow plumper i really like the l'oreal one and the maybelline one and the anastasia clear brow gel i've kind of been rotating this one's probably my favourite. Concealer, I've gone back to an old favourite and I honestly don't think I go through a concealer as quickly as I go through these. Um, this is the Maybelline Eraser Eye Age Rewind one with the little thing on the top. I just find it's so creamy and blendable. It, it just works. It's such a good concealer and I rec literally recommend this to anyone that asks me. Um, what concealer they need to try, I'd recommend this one because honestly, it's so good. It just does everything you want it to. So I'm just taking the same beauty blender and blending that in um, to those areas that I've just applied it. I always put extra around my nose because my foundation always comes off around my nose quicker. I've been using a beauty blender for everything recently. Concealer, foundation, powder, cooking the Sunday roast. I'm also working on a new logo. Um, it's taken a little bit longer than I would have liked because I'm so freaking fussy. But 
I'm hoping that it's going to be worth the wait because I just kind of want to update my brand. I, I've got rid of the bunting from everywhere apart from the logo on the blog because obviously I can't really do anything about that until I have a new logo. Um, I just want to make it look a bit more grown up, I think. Um, and to reflect me a little bit more now than me when I first started, really. Okay, concealer done. I feel like I'm completely like washed out, so we need to get some colour back into this face. So I'm gonna set everything down first. And I've been using a few different products for this lately. I'm just gonna talk about quickly the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'm gonna use this to set under my eyes today. Um, I have been trying baking recently, as in like, I didn't put in powder on your face and then sweep, sweeping it away. I'm not a fan, especially with this powder. A lot of people use it on YouTube to bake with um, and as a powder, but I feel like it really it really leaves a white cast. So when I apply this, I can I kind of feel like I look kind of powdery and white and ghost-like, um, almost gray. And it's supposed to be a translucent powder and it, it does leave a white cast. So if you're looking at trying this powder, um, just bear that in mind. So I just take literally a smidgen on the beauty blender and I find that using a damp sponge for powder works so well. Um, it helps it to last longer and not crease as much and it just goes on a lot smoother. I really, really am a big fan of using this. So I literally just take that under my eyes because I'm not a fan of the white cast look. Um, or the baking look, I don't have time. I don't have time to sit there and also it's so messy. I end up with powder all over me. I'm just going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, which kind of will add a little bit more coverage. And I'm going to take the base of the Beauty Blender and just press that in where I want to set. Because if you don't set underneath where you're going to put powder products on top of where you put cream, it can get a little bit messy. Like if I was to put bronzer straight on top of my foundation, it would, the brush would move the foundation and it would just not go on as well. So I'm just gonna set basically my entire face. Okay, we're gonna go all out today and I'm gonna use the Hoola Bronzer to contour with. Kind of contour a little bit, not really. I'm gonna take the Zoeva 115 Lux Highlight Brush and take a little bit of that and just kind of sculpt out my cheekbones a little bit. I'm just going to take it around the temples before I kind of blend it in because it looks very harsh at the minute. Um, I hate contouring. I'm never ever happy with it, ever. I'm just going to blend it out and clean it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which has been a favourite recently. I'm going to load that onto my favourite bronzer brush, which is the Lux Grand Powder number 90 by Soeva. And just take that over where I've just put that um, Hoola bronzer and just warm up the face a little bit. One of my favourite products that I'm showing you today of everything um, is, my is my blusher and this is the Sleek blusher in the colour Suede. I hauled this quite a while ago, didn't use it for ages, it is such a gorgeous colour. It's a dupe which that's another video that I've got planned um, for one of my other favourite blushes you don't need a lot of it it's kind of like a it's one of those like really neutral peach blushes um I just think it looks very pretty and when you think you look flushed enough it's highlight time um highlight at the moment I've been using the sleek this is the Cleopatra's kiss palette by the time you watch this video I'll have a giveaway on my Instagram with this palette so without showing you everything that's in the background um, it's these four gorgeous colours, the more bronzy and golden toes and the original Solstice palette by Sleek. Um, I'm going to take this, um, this one down here I think, the kind of more pinkish one just because I think it will go with the eyes a little bit better. This is the Morphe M501, oh and my blush brush was the M509. I think I'm going to do a favourite brushes soon so these two will definitely be included because they are amazing. I always feel like I don't have enough highlight on and I don't like to wear that much but I like it to be noticeable and then like I'll catch a glimpse of myself in a mirror after I've done my makeup and I'll be like whoa Amy you put way too much on. 
And then I'm gonna set everything in place, or all that in place, with the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray, just before I finish my eyes and do my lips. So make sure you go and follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it around here so that you can enter the giveaway. Um, it definitely should be up by the time this video goes live, so um, I'm really trying with my Instagram at the moment, it's probably my favourite platform, um, I feel like it's the one that reflects me the most. Um, and I love the little captions that I put as well, like I, I try so hard to like write things that are either inspirational or funny or like just to show a little bit more pe personality. I feel like Twitter is kind of like good for good quick quips. Um, I've got something here that's annoying me, but um, I do really like Instagram. So anyway, I'm going to take for under my eye the purple shade and just kind of use that to tie everything together um, under my eye, kind of. I don't want it to be too low down. Then I'm going to take, probably on the same brush because I'm being lazy, um, the first shade that we used, Frappe, and just use that to smudge that out a little bit so it's not as harsh a line. Take MAC Coffee and just, I've just been lining like the tops, the top outer, cor the top outer corners of my mascara recently. I've not had a mascara that I've really liked using in a long time. Um, I've kind of just been flitting about the different ones and none of them have really been doing it for me. Probably my favourite one out of the bunch is uh, Benefit Roller Lash. Um, and I've just got this in a little mini tester size to use. If any of you have a favourite mascara that you think I should try, then please let me know in the comments because I have loads that I'm going through but I'm just not fussed by any of them. So I'm going to spend the rest of my day today putting stuff on my Depop. Um, I've already put a few like pairs of shoes on there. But I want to put some makeup on there and some clothes. Um, so I'll leave my link in the description bar, um, in the description box if you fancy following me. Um, and just bear with me because I'm kind of new to it and I don't want to put everything up at once because it's gonna, just going to take forever because I've got so much stuff. So. Just, you know, keep an eye on it because I'll be putting stuff on there a little bit often, I would say. Um, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lower lashes. I can't stop singing. Shout out to my ex by Little Mix. Honestly, like, it's in my head the entire time. All day. Can't get it out. It's so unbelievably catchy. But it's getting to the point now where it's kind of getting on my nerves. I know it's on Tom's nerves because he's had enough of me singing it. But it's kind of getting on my nerves now. I sing it that often. Um, for my lips recently, I've been taking a MAC combo, which isn't something that I do that often. But since I had my makeup done in London when I went with my sister a few uh, weeks ago, she did this and I was obsessed. So this is the lip liner in Spice. And I'm just going to go kind of around the outer corner, around the outer corner, around the outer of my lip with this. I'm going to go over the top of that with the MAC lipstick in Honey Love which is a very nudish brown colour. Quite pale for me but I love this combo. Mostly that is how I've been doing my makeup. I've been feeling so crappy recently that the only way to make me feel a tiny little bit better is to put a crap ton of makeup on my face so that's kind of what this has been about really. Um, it's kind of like feel good makeup. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'll link everything that I mentioned in the description box. If you've got any video ideas or anything like that, let me know. I'm gonna do kind of a more personal update video coming up soon. Um, I feel really like nervous to be back filming. I just need to get back in the swing of it because I love it, but I just put so much pressure on myself that it puts me off. Um, and the longer I leave it, as with anything, the longer I don't want to do it for, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, I've got lots of ideas coming up for Christmas. I am going to be doing Vlogmas, um, where I vlog every day or have a video of, up every day. Um, Tom has asked if he can be in one of my videos coming up, so that's going to be exciting. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for today. I'm going to, I've got another video to film now. It's going to be a homeware haul, which will be up on Sunday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.